Hi guys, welcome to today's MCAT question of the day. As always, we'll be working our way through one of the many MCAT practice problems found at MCATselfprep.com, the home of the free MCAT prep course. I'm Andrew George, a 99th percentile MCAT tutor, and I'll be walking you through today's practice problem as if you were one of my private tutoring students. Be sure to hit pause and try this practice problem for yourself before watching my explanation. Under normal conditions, the proteins that are going to help form a clot are not activated. For instance, thrombin is in its proenzyme form, prothrombin, and fibrin is in its zymogen form, fibrinogen. And when a vessel is broken, it causes a chain of events that leads these enzymes to become activated, resulting in thrombin forming the platelet plug and fibrin holding together the clot. With that understanding, let's take a second look at the question stem. Which of the following are present inside the blood vessel under normal conditions, floating around with blood cells? Well, based on what we talked about, we know that fibrin is not floating around. It's floating around in its zymogen form, fibrinogen. What about platelets? Yes, they're already in their regular format, and we just call them platelets no matter what condition they're in. So platelets are definitely going to be present. And collagen? Although it is involved in the formation of a clot, it's not actually inside the blood vessel. It's on the outside walls of the blood vessel mixed in with the connective tissue. Therefore, we don't consider collagen to be inside the blood vessel under normal conditions. Therefore, the best answer choice here is answer choice D. If you enjoyed this MCAT question of the day, be sure to give it a like. And for more MCAT questions of the day, be sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel and enroll in our free MCAT prep course found at MCATSelfPrep.com. And if you are really looking to maximize your MCAT score, feel free to visit my tutoring profile page and request a free 10-minute phone consultation. I would love to chat with you about your situation and how you can maximize your MCAT score. I look forward to hearing from you soon, and we'll see you next time.